Hey everybody, welcome back to the next video. Last week, if you saw our video, we got this wood stove installed and started burning in here for the first time. This thing is gonna keep us absolutely, uh, absolutely warm. We're, we're pretty happy with how it's felt already in the below zero uh, Celsius temperatures. This thing has been keeping it pretty toasty in here and once the fire's going and it's been going for a while, which once we're living in here it will be, um, the floors weren't cold and uh, it was it was nice in here. I need to finish the insulation that's up around the firebox up at the top where we installed the wood stove. All right, that's the end of my little explanation of this week's video. I'm gonna get to some of these projects so we can get in here happy, cozy, and warm for the winter. We are done up there with the insulation that is all insulated um, and uh, I think it's going to hold the heat pretty good. We're so close. It is so exciting. We're so close. Um, we need a fridge here, uh, this stove hooked up, and, uh, and then that area done good enough for us to put our bed even just on the floor for now and we'll be in here and we can't wait. It is uh, it's below freezing almost every night now which is... Uh, which is getting hard. The other project I want to get on today um, is a little storage for our kindling. So this is so this is a wood rack that we got last year. We bought brackets and you just slip two by fours in this bracket. What I want to do for it is um, add in my own little section here that has a bottom and a side in it so that we can stack all of our kindling up off the floor and not have, uh, not have a bucket or something like that in the middle of the floor. What's up? I like this. As you can tell, I have the kindling storage uh, compartment all done. Obviously, used just a pieces of used a few pieces of OSB. It's not for aesthetics; it's really just for functionality. It's going to be good to stack kindling nice and tall. We have lots of scraps from from building this fall that'll be good for kindling. And then we have uh, quite a bit of dead standing cedar and even cut cedar. You can tell over here I put OSB behind. Last year we made the mistake of not doing that and then we'd chuck our wood on and it would like break through the drywall at our old house. We don't even have drywall here, it's just plastic so it absolutely would bust through that plastic and we'd probably have nothing left by the end of the winter. Hey everybody, we want to take a quick moment out of this video to thank Blue Eddy for letting us have the AC180 and test it out. We've been using it for a few months now in the cabin and it's really our main go-to source for charging any of our lamps. We have a sound machine at night that we use and we get to charge all those through the DC port which is one of these USBs which takes almost nothing. We've also been using it with our Starlink internet which takes quite a draw. Thankfully, it'll handle it for quite a few hours through the evening, which helps us be able to upload these videos without having to go somewhere else. Now, right now, we're charging this with our generator every day. We don't have solar yet. It's coming, but we're just not there yet. Now, with this Blue Eddy, it has a few different options for charging, but on our generator, because it's not quite clean power, it's not pure sign, 
it doesn't like that, so we have to charge it at a bit of a lower wattage. So it draws about 300 to 350 watts to charge this on the generator, which if it gets pretty low, um, can take quite a while. However, over the Christmas break, we were able to take this to Megan's parents and test it out to see how fast it will charge using the fastest charging option. Now this thing was pretty low. Um, I think it was in the 30s and when I plugged it in and put up the charging capacity, which takes up to 1400 watts, uh, plugged it in. This thing said it was gonna take half of an hour to charge from 30 to 100. Now I didn't get to test it from zero, but as far as I know from zero to 100 it is only 45 minutes. There's a lot more we could say about this, but thanks so much to Bluetti for partnering with us on the AC180. We have big plans and big, big goals of further systems and further things to do, but this has absolutely made the off-grid life a possibility for us. Check our description below for a link to the AC180 so you can get your own and test it out for yourself. Before we move in, we have one last big thing to do, and that's to build our bed frame. Lost track of the forest through the trees, forgot what I was chasing. Spent so many nights living out at sea that my heart is gone vacant. And everybody who was close to me all stayed on dry land. So now I'm driving back on in the state west, I just gotta feel something. Not gonna wait till the morning, because something's gonna change my mind. I don't wanna change my mind Oh, I wanna stay right here, right here Chilling with my friends for another year I would walk away from the spotlight For the good life oh, Come on, turn your hate into poetry Pain into power And I need some friends And your minutes into hours I would walk away from the spotlight For the good life all right, everybody, today is official move-in day. We had our fridge delivered, which we'll show you in a second. The mattress we got is a futon mattress. Realized afterwards that the spacing I had between these slats is just too much. You feel it when you lay down. So we went and bought some one by three, uh, and so the gap is still there to let air flow underneath the mattress, and uh, it's not gonna be something we can feel, so it's gonna be super cozy. I gotta get them on, though, because it is almost, uh, it's, Coming up on eight o'clock and uh, we're gonna sleep in here tonight. So it's time to get these on, install just with three screws on each one and uh, see how it feels. I'm over. Well, the whole damn town has been waiting for the day when you would come back here. Back here. There was dancing and talking and steaks on the grill and I Check back next week for a full unfinished cabin tour. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. We will see you in the next one.